Nearly half of the students enrolled at the College of Southern Idaho last year were first generation students. For many, the transition to college can be a difficult one, but as Idaho News 6 education reporter Jake Brazil explains, staff at CSI is providing resources to make the transition a little bit easier. I just had to go through a lot of stuff, uh, through a lot of high school struggles to get here, but I'm here now. Jerry Alanya is a first generation full-time CSI student studying engineering. I caught up with him right before his chemistry class, where he explained to me the challenges he's faced becoming the first in his family to go to college. I just kind of got uh, confused with all the uh, registration and college uh, credits you have to take. And that was kind of a disadvantage for us because everyone else, at least my first day in high school, was taking all these dual credit classes. Well, I was kind of missing out on that. At the Innovation and Success Center, more than 125 students are currently going through the Bridge to Success program. It is designed to help any student find support while working towards their goals, whether it's getting a GED, a diploma, or joining the workforce. Sometimes they get here and they're just unsure of why they're here. They don't know how to put those words together to ask the right questions. They don't have a lot of that confidence. And so the program with Bridge and then everything that we do here in the center is focused on them. How do we make their experiences here at CSI better? How do we keep them here? How do we make them feel like this is home? To get the public involved and as part of Community College Month, CSI is hosting an open house at the Innovation and Success Center on Thursday, where anyone interested can get information on all the programs CSI offers. I feel that Community College is one of those last resorts, but I think it should be the first resort. I think it should be the first thing that a lot of students coming from high school and or adult learners should be talking about. In Twin Falls, Jake Brazil, Idaho News 6.